Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. And today I'm chatting to Hearthstone's art director, Ben Thompson, about Hearthstone. Yeah. Ben, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm going to start simple. Tell me everything that goes into making a card. <laughs> Uh, well, it usually starts with the design team. The design team provides us with a set of cards that they want for the game. They've got a loose idea of kind of what the costs are, what the balance is, and just kind of what goes into those from a design perspective. And then we write up art descriptions. Uh, Jeremy Cranford, our art manager for the external art, writes up a series of descriptions to disperse out to freelance artists. We start getting that art coming in. Internally, we start basically going through the sketches and kind of talking with those artists and figuring out what works best for it, what kind of has that sense of charm, what yeah. has that sense of lightheartedness and fun, uh, very sensitive to kind of just different uh, personifications of different genders, different, you know, those kind of equality issues as well that are something that's very important to us on Hearthstone. And so you've worked on the WoW trading card game. I did. And you worked on Magic the Gathering. With this, is it sort of overwhelming the amount of lore that you have to draw on for Hearthstone, or are you kind of used to it now because you're just working in these huge expanded universes? Being a WoW player myself and spending a lot of time in that universe, uh, as well as having you know the talents of Ben Brode and the rest of the design team with all the lore knowledge that they have just amassed between them, it makes it very easy to kind of find the right stories at the right time mm. for the right characters and within those adventures and expansions to kind of focus on just what makes that expansion feel unique and that expansion feel separate and yeah. different. We are in a fun space uh, with Hearthstone right now. If, uh, if you look at kind of where the Grand Tournament is going, we're starting to kind of take a couple steps away from that WoW lore in a way that feels really good for the first time to be right. doing. If you consider that uh, the Grand Tournament was really very loosely based on the Argent Tournament from World of Warcraft, yeah. uh, but the more we started digging into it, the more it was like, this kind of feels a little silly, right? Yeah. Like, there's no more Arthas, there's no more Lich King. Yeah, and kind of uh, limiting. Yeah, yeah. it's just the lore that limits around that. So we decided, you know what? What's to say the denizens of Azeroth didn't have a lot of fun at this tournament? And Lich King or not, we're going to keep having this tournament. We're going to keep, you know, inviting all of our best friends and our best champions. They just didn't count on all the, the hillbilly cousins showing up. <laughs> so with the, the Murloc Knights and the, you know, parrot riding pirate orcs like you do. And all yeah, those awesome. kind of things showing up. Yeah, cool. Because it, I feel like one of the great things that Blizzard is done is they basically like they made WoW mm -hmm. and then they they make they make these games that sort of spin off that universe. Sure. And so then people like you, you were a fan of that thing, and now because you're now you're working on it because you're a fan, it's actually like so much more fun. Oh, absolutely. Because we were talking to the Heroes of the Storm guys mm -hmm. a couple of months ago, and it was exactly the same thing where they were going like big fan of all the Blizzard <laughs> games, and now we're making our own Blizzard game that's like a sort of you know, fanfic version of, that, you know, of those games. And we're big fans of them as well. I mean, when when the Hearthstone card showed up as a steed in Heroes, I mean, it was just like yeah. palpable excitement across the entire team. Like, oh my God, that's totally going to be my mount. We all love what each other does. And we talk all the time about like, oh, you know, it'd be cool is, and this would be really awesome. When we're doing balance design on a lot of this, we'll, we have an internal beta where people play the games. Mm. You know, the Grand Tournament is going through that right now where people internal to the company are playing that and kind of providing feedback and thoughts and they come up with stuff all the time that's oh, I didn't even think about that you know and however many months or whatever I've spent on this I didn't think about that but they did yes yeah. they've got that you know 20 degree separation by working on another game so with that balance I mean I guess it is more of a gameplay question but you're releasing what's 131 cards 132 believe, 132 yeah. with this there was like 140 or something with goblins versus gnomes mm -hmm. you got like 31 with black rock do you think that you may end up going down the path of something like magic where there are cards which sort of get banned for lack of a better word mm -hmm. from the sort of current meta once you know i mean the game hasn't been out that long and you've released yeah. like 400 new cards just slow down i mean that's that's one way to do it there's a number of different options for how you would approach something like that um it's something that we're considering seriously it's something we're looking at well where the best option lies mm -hmm. uh, for current players and for future players and just basically what's going to keep the game approachable simple and fun so. cool so back to the design what, what's the Blizzard hallmark when it comes to making the cards? Because all of the look and design of Blizzard games is so, so important. What's important to you about a good Hearthstone card? Uh, from a design perspective, like yeah. something, it's basically um, anything that opens up options, anything mm -hmm. that opens up choices, uh, providing the player with 
multiple paths rather than one obvious direct path is is almost always preferred. And what about from an art perspective? Like, what do you want to make sure? What what's the defining blizzardness about the art in this game? I it's I always kind of say that artistically the game is like 20 degrees off of World of Warcraft. I mean, if World of Warcraft was always about the epic and the over the top and yeah. really strong and vibrant characters with all this back history, Hearthstone being the 20 degrees off is a lot more approachable, a lot more friendly. Mm. There's still the epicness in it, but it's epically you know, charming. It's yeah. epically lighthearted. Yeah, it has like a whimsy built yeah. into it that it's, that WoW doesn't always have. It just feels friendly. What did you draw in the game? Um, early on, I was the first artist hired for the team, so early on, <laughs> so it's all of you at the beginning. You're like, no, initially, that was too much. Yeah, initially it was a very, very digital game in terms of how it was laid out. It was very kind of, you know, 2D quads moving across the screen and kind of doing their thing. And yeah. we started to work out, what if it's a board? What if there's a box involved? What if this? What if the UI is physical instead of just a window through which you're viewing the game? And as we started to ask all these questions, mm. we had to have visuals ascribed to them. So a lot of my early work was, what if it was this and what if it was that, blue sky, really just having a lot of fun with it. As we started to answer those questions and provide art for it, providing more polished, finished illustration that were then turned into 3D. As far as like tangible, physical things, aside from just the obvious aside like, from everything, and boxes and things like that, it would be uh, basically Rexar, the, the hero portrait was mine. Oh, um, and then the, the one card that gets played every game, no matter what, the coin. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you you were just like, I'm gonna do the best hero and the thing that's in every game. <laughs> I don't know about, I'm sure there's people that would debate you on best hero, but... Uh, Those people are yeah. wrong. <laughs> well played. Thanks, buddy. So with the boards, I mean, I love the board design. Do you have like a thousand board designs in a cupboard somewhere of just going, God, yeah, I wish. We, we've gone through them? No? <laughs> I wish we did have that many. We are we try to get ahead. We're trying to work ahead, not just on sets, but you know, on the assets and everything that go into them, because they do take a lot of time. Mm. But the boards are awesome. We have a lot of fun doing those and really enjoy like the clickables and just kind of the, the little side tangent stuff you get involved in when it's not your turn. And totally, yeah. Everything. And and it's such a great like moment of exploration that, you know, figuring out that you can catapult the rocks. Yeah. Or, I remember when I first set the rocket off, I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I lost the game because I was like too distracted. I can't take credit for those. The uh, the clickables were the brainchild of John Zwicker, uh, our 3D, he was the first 3D artist on the team. It was one day when we were working on the boards as a whole, just to meant, meant to be a backdrop, really, for the game. Um, and I remember he was sitting there clicking on something at one point. I don't even remember what it was. And he's like, this should do something. This should really do something if we click this. And we both were like, oh, man. <laughs> this is the third or fifth click, you know, on a character in War Three where they say something different. This yeah, is yeah, the yeah. stop poking me, you know, from the orc when you're, when you're clicking on him in the RTS. We got to do something, right? So we got more and more of the engine started going. And it was, we, what about this? We could do this. We'd be this. Uh, and then all the way to like Naxxramas where there's elements of the board that during the course of that adventure actually you know, shoot out lightning yeah, and kind totally. of hit your characters and it's like, gosh, now it's kind of a character. It must be great knowing that people are carrying around your art with them everywhere yeah. they go. Like it's, it's not, you're not taking around this big physical thing. It's like yeah. everyone has your art everywhere. It's it's a trip for sure. I mean, it's it's definitely, it kind of played to some of the design on a lot of things too. If you think of like the box itself, mm. really kind of was this thought of like, yeah, but when people have their iPad, it's like they're carrying their box around. Yeah, it's totally. like they're carrying around their collection. It's their digital binder full of cards. It's like, that, that's pretty compelling. Yeah. That was, was super that conscious. That was a combination of a number of people. So, I mean, it's certainly like- But you're I, here, I so I think it, so. you should take the credit. You can give me whatever you want to give me. It doesn't mean I'm going to not kick it right back to the rest of the team <laughs> as many times as possible. How big is the team? Uh, we shipped the game with just shy of 17 people. We're just short of 48 now. Wow. So it's it's really grown quite a bit. We've still managed to get as much of the content out as we wanted to get out and feel like are making the game stronger for it. At the same time, we're, we're really ramping up all the, the people who have come onto the team since then, kind of getting them you know on board with the vision and the look. And are they coming on mainly as sort of support for you know keeping the game running or is it a lot of 
looking forward? Like how far forward are you guys looking? Anybody joining the team now has as much of a voice and a stake in the vision as the people who were on the game, you know, years back. Mm -hmm. It's it really is, you know, if you join the Hearthstone team, you're on the Hearthstone team. Like yeah. your your voice is as strong as Eric Dodd's game director or yeah. Derek Sakamoto, you know, the UI designer. It's it's an important factor to what makes the team work. And uh, people do come in and day one or two you know, have a little bit of a soft voice about like, maybe if we got this and this, but by week two or three, it's like, you know, I think <laughs> this would be, and they're just as excited as we are to be making that game, so. Cool. And it shows, I think. You win this. I'll finish it up with something super easy. Who's your favorite character to play? What's your favorite class? Oh. I've got to say Warlock. It started off as my Ooh, least really? favorite because I felt really like, yeah. When you're we were the doing guy who plays Warlock. Early beta, I I hated dealing damage to myself to do things. Yeah. It just did not feel good. So I was a lot of mage early on. But once I started playing, it was just like oh, I really like a lot of stuff that happens with Warlock. I, I think because it's a mind game with the other player as well. Maybe that you're, like you're hammering your own health down, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah, keep doing that, buddy. And then all of a sudden, you've got like s sort of six cards in your hand. You start smashing it out. Well, in my case, too, it's a nice way to take control of the situation and deal that last two damage to myself and just exit out of the game, too, if I'm oh, really nice. losing that bad. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My own destiny. Yeah, don't give them, <laughs> don't give them the satisfaction. No. <laughs> Look, Ben, thank you very much Absolutely. for hanging out today, uh, and good luck with the expansion. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you there. Brilliant. And that's it for today's episode of Pocket. Nick Boy out.